Hello everybody, welcome to Wine with Jet. We're in New Little Scenery. Happy Thanksgiving. I thought I would post it on Thankful Thirsty Thursday just because why not? Wine not. <laughs> I'm wearing my lovely little wine apron, if you guys can see what that says. My favorite wine apron I own. I'm baking currently over there, so I have to keep an eye on that. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys a wine review for your lovely Thanksgiving feast. So we have here Apothic Wine Makers Blend White. Now, my friend bought this last week for pizza night, and she's like, this is the only white wine in the store sold, so I just grabbed it and hope for the best. And it actually was pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and review it for you guys. I've already opened it, as you can see. Um, so we're going to go ahead and reopen it. And as always, please chill your whites or use a corksicle if you have one. Those work wonderful, wonderful. So here we go. Little sample. Now, my lighting is a bit bad. I apologize for that, but I don't have lights currently over on that side. My lights have to be worked on by an electrician. So put that there. And I'll give you guys a lovely taste of this wine. It has a lot of weird flavors, I will say, but it's really good. So this is like a dry white almost it's it's a it's a medium dry it's not fully a dry white but it's also not a sweet white it's in the middle of the road that makes sense to you guys now i can tell you what's in this because the bottle told me what was in it i was going to research it and i'm like oh the bottle actually has notes on it so on the back of the bottle it does say it's got apothic white is a refreshing blend with bright floral notes and vibrant Characteristics of peach and apricot that lead to a crisp, balanced finish. That is Apothic White. That's how they describe this wine. And I definitely get the peach and apricot there. And you get the floral notes, which, so the peach and apricot give it that sweet flavor. And the floral notes also give it that dryness of a scent. So uh, would I pair this with a pizza? Well, it was in a pizza shop, so yeah, I guess I would. <laughs> um, this might be really good with turkey on Thanksgiving, to be utterly honest. Like, I was thinking about that when I was eating it. I'm mean, eating it, drinking it. <laughs> um, last week, I'm like, this could be really good for turkey day. So that's why I thought it'd be great to um, take this wine home with me and review it for you guys. I would have reviewed it there, but I was like, no, it's not. It wasn't a good setting to review in, so I'm like, nah. I'll bring it home. I'll review it for you guys on lovely Thanksgiving. So, um, yeah, that's my lovely review of it. I would give this a solid um, 8 out of 10. Like, it's right up there with some of the bigger wines. It's pretty good. And I believe Apothic, I can't say all of their wines, but some of their wines I notice are vegetarian friendly or vegan friendly. Um, this one, that's my, don't worry, that's just preheating. Um, it doesn't say on the bottle that it is vegan friendly, this one, but a couple others have said that, so I'm like, oh, that's cool. So, if you're vegan or vegetarian, make sure you check your labels of your wines, because I recently found out not all wines are vegan or vegetarian friendly. I don't know why I never thought about that, but that's a thing. So, if you're vegan or vegetarian, definitely be sure to check your labels. I'm sure you do that anyway, because you probably know, but I didn't know. So, future reference if you guys have vegetarian friends or vegan friends always check your wines because not all wines are vegan and vegetarian friendly good to know um all right so that wraps up our video for the day and our week i hope you guys have a wonderful thanksgiving um uh, please um give thanks in the comments say what you're thankful for because we're all thankful for something i am thankful for all the viewers of this channel all my friends my family um, and all that sort. So thank you guys so much for watching and comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!